We're talking about applying foundation. It's not an easy task to master, and thankfully, Momi Dawadu is here to help, along with our beautiful model, Grace. This weekend, Momi will be holding a workshop for beginners and professionals alike, and she's here to share some helpful tips on finding the right makeup for you, no matter what your skin tone. Welcome, Absolutely. welcome to Thank both you. of you. Thank you. Okay, so what are some of the common mistakes that people make when it comes to finding a, a base? Well, first of all, I think that people usually find the wrong color. They don't actually take the time to actually just swatch on your jawline. Is that where it is? That's yes. where you have to do it? I yes. mean, because usually you're, I don't know, you apply it on the back of your hand. Yeah, that's so that's never not good. Accurate. And if you wanted to apply it anyway, it would be inside of your wrist because then okay. you can actually see your um, undertone. Okay, so, so. so right here. Yeah. Um, and any other tips that we need to know about, like, just, I mean, how do you know without the, without putting it all over your face that it's actually going to be the right thing Well, for what you, you want to do is, like, you know, usually you just put a little bit on your jawline, and then if it actually um, goes in to your, your skin, it just kind of disappears, yeah. and that's usually the best color. But the best thing to do is if you see it in the natural light, so it's like, go to the store, like, and ask for a sample. Usually a lot of places will give you samples. Mm -hmm. So then take the sample, go home, you know, try it on, and then see what it looks like in the natural light. So. Okay, now you've put, you've worked on uh, half of Grace's face. Yes. It's, it's, I mean, it's a half I can't see. Okay, so what are some of the tricks to application? Because I think, aside from finding the right color, uh, maybe people tend to go too heavy sometimes as well. Yeah, so I usually like, even with this, when it comes to like foundation, it's like you just, you can apply as, uh, as much as you want, but I usually like to shear it out, you know. Um, you want to make sure that your sponge is really wet. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And then once it's wet. What were you spraying on that? Um, just water. Oh, just water. Just water. Okay. And then you can just um, shear it out so it's not so heavy and, you know, thick looking. So you want to actually um, have you, allow your skin to you know see through your foundation. You don't uh, want it okay. To be too cakey so you don't or want it to be this big matte kind yes. of mess. And then when it comes to coverage, where where do you stop? Where do, where do I stop? Well, or? do you, I mean because sometimes do you stop here? Do you stop under here? Well, you know, some people I think you know if you got the right color, you really don't have to go into your neckline. Right. You know <laughs> uh, because depending on what you're wearing, you don't want the makeup to go on to your clothes or anything. So if you're just really just um, adding just a, a little bit of color, and then going, taking your, your wet sponge, yes. make sure your sponge is very wet, it's really just going to go into your skin color, so you don't have to actually continue going all the way down your neck, so it really right. should just kind of fall, like on this side, it should just flawlessly. Okay, let me see. And is there anything that people specifically with darker skin tones need to, to be aware of? Your undertone. Ah, so okay. first of all, like I said, if you're just actually looking, um, here on your wrist, in, in, on the inside of your wrist, you can see what color veins you are. Yeah. So you want to see um, if you're warm or if you're cool. Okay, and warm means you have an undertone of what, and cool means what? Yeah, warm is if you have an undertone of, of red. Yeah. Uh, cool is more like green. Ah, so okay. So she's, that's yeah, Grace is more, you know, golden undertones. Ah. So and that's, that will really make your skin look vibrant and luminous and not uh, flat or anything. Okay, now I know you have a, a seminar uh, coming up, a Glaminar workshop. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, yes, actually it'll be um, this weekend starting um, May um, 18th and 19th, so it's a two-day workshop. So um, we're going to be doing one for beginner and the next one is for advanced. So anybody can enter this one. It's, you know, whether you're actually a working makeup artist mm -hmm. or if you're just want to learn the, you know, the new tricks and sure. skills just to do your makeup the best. Just some basics. I have people come up to me all the time. They're like, I don't know how you do your right. makeup every day. I There's don't know so what to do. There's so many people I don't know how. So Okay, we'll have links to the uh, the Glaminar workshop at breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Mommy. Thank Lovely you. to meet you both. Nice to meet you.